So you got your bike and you may be wondering what accessories you may need right now or down the line to continue riding your bike to be reasonably dangerous. Here's the Essential Beginner Cyclist Accessory Kit to keep you safe and your bike running smoothly for years to come. What's up? I'm Zach Alardo. Life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous and subscribe for more fixed gear and cycling videos just like this one. All the accessories that we'll be talking about today are linked in the description. Feel free to check that out at any time during this video. For steel bikes that weigh well under 20 pounds or 9 kilograms that you can customize to be your dream bike right out of the box, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description. In order to keep you having fun and on your bike for years to come, there's three types of accessories that we'll be taking a look at today. First are safety accessories, second are maintenance accessories, and third are security accessories. Safety is just one of those things that you shouldn't skimp out on. Of course, our first accessory is a proper helmet. I recommend the Giro Trinity helmet. It's about $35 on Amazon, and this is the helmet that I've been using for the past year. It has a universal fit and is pretty comfortable with an adjustable dial in the back, and it has enough vents to allow air to flow through so you don't get too sweaty while riding. Giro is one of the biggest helmet manufacturers, so you know that you're getting something from a reputable brand. Cycling is a ton of fun, but the road can be an unpredictable place, and you should take the necessary precautions to not die. And this $35 Giro Trinity helmet could very well save your life. Speaking of saving your life, a light set could very well do that too. There are tons of great light sets out there that you should get for around $50. There's only a few things that lights need to do. They need to be bright enough, be USB rechargeable so you can always have battery in them, be weather resistant, and have simple mounting options. This Knight Rider combo is around $45 and checks all of those boxes. Knight Rider is a pretty reputable brand. There's others out there for sure. Sure, but for $45, I've used these and have been happy with these. The Swift 300 headlights and the Sabre 80 taillights are both bright enough as to not get hit by cars. I even personally use the Sabre 80 taillight and it just lives on my messenger bag so I can always have a light with me. These are bright enough, they work, they're reliable, don't need to overcomplicate lights. Now moving on to our maintenance accessory so you can keep your bike running smoothly and reliably for years to come. There's only three things that you need to take care of as far as maintenance goes when you're starting out cycling. Your tires, your chain, and your bolts. For tires, you'll need a good pump, one or more spare tubes, a patch kit, and tire level to fix flats. For a pump, I recommend getting one with a gauge and make sure that it has the appropriate valve head for your bike. The two most common are Presta valves, which look like this, and Schrader valves, which look like this. Topeak Joe Blow is my go-to pump and serves as the standard for floor pumps. It's a really sturdy construction. It has both Schrader and Presta valve heads, and it has an accurate gauge and can get up to high PSIs pretty easily. If you're on a bit of a tighter budget though, the Topeak Road Morph G is a portable pump that can actually replace a floor pump. It has an accurate gauge and the chamber is big enough where it doesn't take too many pumps to get your tires up to an appropriate PSI. The Topeak Road Morph G is actually the only pump that I'm currently using as I travel throughout Asia. Although it's not nice to use as a floor pump, it can replace a floor pump and also serve as your portable pump with a bit of elbow grease. It's also a good idea to have some spare tubes because flats are just an inevitable part of cycling. I linked some Continental tubes in the description. Continental is a very reliable brand, but for the most part, tubes are tubes and they all last about just as long. When shopping for tubes, it's important that you get the correct dimensions for your tire size, and if you don't know what your tire size is, you can usually find it printed on the sidewall of your tire. And secondly, make sure that you get the appropriate Presta or Schrader valve for your bike. The patch kit is another essential accessory because you will get flats, and instead of having to replace your tubes every time, you can simply patch them up to save money. Rima TT patch kit is my go-to. I've used these for years and they work well. There are cheaper patches out there. I've used them and I don't recommend them because the patches tend to peel off after a couple of days, which defeats the entire purpose of having a patch kit. And in order to change your inner tube, you're going to need some tire levers to help you get your tire off of your rim. Pedro's tire levers are the easiest to use and the most durable that I've used. The second thing that you need to maintain is your chain. All the accessories you'll need to do that is a rag that you may have lying around and some chain lube. Rock and roll chain lube is my favorite to use because it's the simplest to use. With other chain lubes, you 
first need to clean your chain, but Rock and Roll Chain Lube both cleans and lubricates your chain all in one formula. All you have to do is spray a healthy amount onto your chain, spin it around, and then wipe off the excess. This will keep all the components in your drivetrain clean and running buttery smooth and lasting longer saving you money in the long run and also making your bike more enjoyable to ride. The third simple thing for maintenance is keeping an eye on your bolts and knowing how to adjust a couple things to make your bike fit you better. A dialed in bike fit will make your bike more comfortable, feel faster, and also avoid possible injury. Bolts can also loosen over time and just having a simple set of Allen keys can save you a trip to the bike shop. I recommend the Park Tool Hex Wrench Set. Park Tool is a bit more expensive than other brands, but that's because they serve as the standard for tools in the bike industry. They are a bit more expensive up front, but they last for years and are worth it. The three millimeter to 10 millimeter hex wrench set will cover all the bolts that are on your bike. Of course, if you're on a tight budget, you can get a generic hex wrench set. Just make sure that they are metric and not English sizing because English sizes are slightly different and if you use those they will round out your bolts. It's also a good idea to make sure that the things on your bike that have metal to metal contact are properly greased as an ungreased seat post or ungreased bolts can become seized over time and become a big headache and a costly trip to the bike shop. I use Lucas Oil waterproof grease because it's reasonably priced, it's on Amazon and it works. As a rule of thumb, once per year, make sure that most of your components that have metal to metal contact with a few exceptions are properly greased. And the last essential beginner cycling accessories that you'll need for your bike relates to security and for keeping your bike. Unfortunately, bike thieves are very good at what they do, and if they want your bike, they will take it. The key for deterring bike thieves is to make your bike not worth their effort. So it's a good idea to spend at least 10% of your bike's value on locks to deter those thieves. I made a really in-depth guide on how to almost never have your bike stolen and you can watch that by clicking the card above. As a rule of thumb, use two good locks, a beefy primary U-lock and a secondary cable lock. I currently use the Abyss Granite X Plus Mini as my primary lock. It is an expensive lock, it's about $100, but that's because I have an expensive bike. When I had a beginner fixed gear though, I used the On Guard Bulldog Mini as my primary U-lock. It's not the most heavy duty thing in the world, but if you always practice good locking technique, you can almost never have your bike stolen. And as a secondary lock, just for that little extra layer of security, I recommend the Kryptonite CryptoFlex Cable Lock. If you haven't already watched my video on how to almost never have your bike stolen, you should watch that. Seriously, it'll save you a lot of headache and wallet ache in the long run. These are all the essential accessories that you'll need to keep you and your bike safe and your bike running smoothly, well-maintained, and fun to ride. Question of the day, are there any essential cycling accessories that you find particularly useful that I didn't mention? Let me know in the comments. Our channel sponsor, Wabi Cycles, is the epitome of what makes cycling fun. Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give you the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly with master craftsmen right here in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that is eager to answer your questions and get Get you on a bike that you'll love. This amounts to efficient, elegant, and timeless bikes that you can get from a passionate group of fellow cyclists. Wabi's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58 centimeter Wabi Special, weighing in at 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a completely steel lugged frame set that has no carbon components. That weight isn't just for quoting and impressing other cyclists though. It results in the best riding experience that I've ever had on a bike with a snappy, responsive, and lively bike that only top shelf steel can bring. That pure fun makes it easy for me to ride Wallace my Wabi Special as my only bike as I travel throughout Asia. So if you're looking for the bike that could very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description because it really is the closest thing that I've ridden to the perfect bike. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to watch more videos just like this one. And remember to hit the like button if you like this video or the dislike button if you think that this video sucked. And if you haven't ridden your bike yet today, stop watching me right now because life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.